what took Facebook from 50 million users to 425 million users was not all of us talking about the barbecue we had last week and the fact that we brushed our teeth this morning. Not even breaking up with our ex by changing our status. It was a lot more about changing the world. Where young people in California had online um, actions, offline actions, putting them together to protest the fact that they were turning off health care for Ill illegal immigrant children. Getting out there and saying, I'm not going to put up with this. I'm going to protect women in the thir third world, and I'm going to make sure that free speech applies across the board. And when you threaten people because of their color, or their accent, or their religion, you do it over my dead body. So what are the values we're trying to promote? We can turn off the internet, but that's the only risk I can't protect our children from. They need access to this for their lives, for their futures, for their education. They need to create the next technology that works on his good enough backbone in a green way that will help them change the world. I gave an award to CDT last year at an event we did in Washington. I asked them to stand up so we could all thank them for protecting the rights of children. A lot of people looked at what they were doing because they protect free speech. And a lot of people said, well, that's not good because we should be stopping pornography and I'll tell you what pornography is. Or we should be stopping hate and I'll tell you what that is too. Or that has to stop and that has to stop and as long as I'm around, this has to stop too. But the right I was giving them an award for to protect was in the United States are constitutional rights. It's a right to protect too. Only stupid, lazy people take the easy way out. The wired safety, we don't do that. We're all unpaid volunteers. I can test, tell you none of us are lazy. Stupid, sometimes, maybe. But when it comes to this, and there is no tension between protecting people in the technology and protecting their values and giving them access, it just requires you to think outside of the box. You don't take the easy way out. You don't say, turn off the technology. And you no longer say, keep a computer in a central location because the kids are walking around with more power in their backpacks, pockets, and purses these days than we ever had in those big corporations when Vint started playing with the internet. This is the filter, the one between our children's ears. This is the filter, the one between our ears, between our senior citizens' parents' ears. And if I can engage it between government's ears and the people who are getting involved trying to create their own special internet that will close people out, box them in, and create something that is very different from what we have now. What we have now allows you to find your values. When someone talks about family values, it's not the one that somebody talks about on a special network on television. It's your family's values, what you believe in. It allows you to move the world forward the way we want to. I'm from the 60s. We used to blow up buildings. Sometimes, in between blowing up buildings, we would march. I was actually tear-gassed in Washington, a badge of courage. I was happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, but I didn't tell that to my kids. <laughs> so as we look at the values, as we give people access to the technology that doesn't destroy their world and gives them the chance to use the creativity so a little child in a rural town in Alabama can write poetry that Maya Angelou can see. And a kid in Wisconsin who lives in a small town and lost a friend because of distracted driving can do research and bring it to Washington and turn around and say, too many kids are texting and driving and we can stop it. I know I'm only 14. We can get another 14 year old who can address the UN in Spanish and talk about cyber hate. We need to empower people to use their values, express their values, and for that to happen, we need to keep the internet open enough that other people aren't telling us what those values should be. It gives us an opportunity to find them for ourselves, and we just have to work a little harder to do it right.